Switzerland is to ban all new minarets at mosques in the country. Nearly 60 percent of voters back the move in a referendum on Sunday. The Swiss People's Party, which is the largest in Parliament, called the poll, claiming the prominent architectural structures represented increased Islamic influence, which it says does not fit with Switzerland's ethos. Muslims say a ban insults their faith, and opposition politicians say they'll appeal to the European Court of Human Rights. There are just four minarets in the country with 400,000 Muslims. Artis Gainich Chikan reports on a debate dividing Switzerland's nearly 8 million citizens. The walls of the headquarters of the biggest political party in Switzerland are plastered with Islamophobic posters. Ulrich Schler is the architect of the campaign calling for a ban on minarets across the country. He sees them as signs of creeping Islamization. Minaret is uh, seen as a symbol for political attitudes, for political demands. For instance, to introduce step-by-step -step, uh, elements of the Sharia right also in Switzerland. Okay, but what does the Sharia law have to do with the construction of minarets? Now we have some leaders, some imams, and they openly say that their goal is to introduce Sharia right also in, in Switzerland. Since then we have the problem with the political symbol of the minaret as a symbol of introducing other law in Switzerland. This is one of the four minarets in Switzerland. It was traditionally used to call people to prayer. But now, as Imam Ahmed says, it has a spiritual significance and in no way a political one. It is a sort of sign of the presence of a Muslim community. So through minarets, uh, the mosque is visible. So it does not have uh, uh, any more uh, function. Do you think they just want you to be invisible? That's, uh, that can be the case. That can be the reason. And most mosques in Switzerland can easily slip under the radar. There are some 200 of them. The majority of around half a million Muslims living in the country go to warehouses or gyms like this one to pray. The premises bear little sign of a place of worship. These believers admit they don't need a minaret for their prayers, but trying to ban them is an insult to their faith. They're not against the minarets as a construction, they are against the Muslims' persons and the religion itself. Swiss government officials were quick to condemn a referendum initiative launched by the right-wingers. Switzerland has a long history of neutrality, but just how impartial the Swiss are when it comes to Islamic symbols? Let's find out. It's just too much, maybe, you know, if you have all these minarets all around. It's not that we are, you know, against Muslims, but we think in order to believe, you don't need necessarily the minarets. No, I am against this initiative because I think that uh, every religion should be free to express her own faith also in the buildings. It's idiotic. It's putting a cross marker on our foreheads where we had none before. There's absolutely no reason to ban them. And this minaret has peacefully stood side by side with the Christian church for decades. But with the debates galvanizing public opinion now, the tranquility for which Switzerland is known could be riled up. Ganesh Shekhan, RT, Zurich, Switzerland.